Hi. Hey, little one. Are you ready for a story? Well, I have something for you. Today, today we are going to be reading Angelina Ballerina. It's exciting. All right. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. More than anything else in the world, Angelina loved to dance. She danced all the time, and she danced everywhere. And often she was so busy dancing that she forgot about the other things that she was supposed to be doing. And here we can see Angelina dancing down the stairs. We see her papa reading a newspaper and her mother with a nice little tea set. We can see the pot and the cup and the sugar with the stir, the spoon. <laughs> Angelina's mother was always calling to her. Angelina, it's time to tidy up your room now. Or, please get ready for school now, Angelina. But Angelina never wanted to go to school. She never wanted to do anything but dance. And here we see Angelina's dirty, dirty room. Oh, it's so messy. And we can see her mother calling out to her. But Angelina's all far away dancing. We can see a little ballerina doll as well. One night, Angelina even danced in her dreams. And when she woke up in the morning, she knew that she was going to be a real ballerina someday. Here we can see her dreaming. Look how she dances all the way off the page even. When Mrs. Mouseling called Angelina for breakfast, Angelina was standing on her bed doing curtsies. Here we can see Mrs. Mouseling. Mrs. Mouseling, Angelina's doing curtsies. And here we can see Angelina doing the curtsies on her bed. When it was time for school, Angelina was trying on her mother's hats and making sad and funny faces at herself in the mirror. You're going to be late again, Angelina, she cried Mrs. Mouseling. And here we can see Angelina trying on her mother's clothing, making silly faces in the mirror. And here is Mrs. Mouseling, quite distraught, very worried about Angelina making it to school on time. But Angelina did not care. She skipped over rock and she practiced high leaps over the flower beds until she landed in old Mrs. Hodgepodge's pansies and got a terrible scolding. Here she is leaping high and falling flat. Mrs. Hodgepodge is not very pleased. At playtime, she twirled and spun across the playground so fast that none of the little boys in her class could catch her, and they were all very cross. After school, she did a beautiful arabesque in the kitchen and knocked over a pitcher of the milk and a plate of her mother's best cheddar cheese pies. Oh, Angelina, your dancing is nothing but a nuisance, exclaimed her mother. Here we can see Angelina spinning circles around the boys, trying to catch her during playtime. And here we can see Angelina tipping over the cheese and the milk. What are we going to do with this? This 
is quite a problem, isn't it? She sent Angelina straight upstairs to her room and went to have a talk with Mr. Mouseling. Mrs. Mouseling shook her head and said, I just don't know what to do about Angelina. Mr. Mouseling thought a while and he said, I think I may have an idea. Here's poor Angelina in her room hugging her ballerina doll, looking very frightened. What will happen? We don't know yet. From downstairs, here you can see Mr. and Mrs. Mouseling discussing what to do with Angelina's dancing. That same afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Mouseling went out together before the shops closed. And here we can see the shops. And what do we see? We see a ballerina and her partner up here. We see a beautiful little dress, multiple dresses. Oh, we can see a grocer down in the back with all the vegetables. People working all around in the buildings. What do you think we're gonna get? What do you think they got, Angelina? The next morning at breakfast, Angelina found a large box with her name on it. You can see, breakfast time. Yes, she's pouring tea again. Here's Angelina peering through the door. And a big box with Angelina's name on it. Inside the box, was a pink ballet dress and a pair of pink ballet slippers. Angelina's father smiled at her kindly. I think you are ready to take ballet lessons, he said. Angelina was so excited that she jumped straight up in the air and landed with one foot in her mother's sewing basket. Here we can see Angelina is very excited with her new dress and her new shoes. And unfortunately, her mother's sewing basket um, took a fall <laughs> as well. Mm. The very next day, Angelina took her pink slippers and ballet dress and went to her first lesson at Miss Lily's Ballet School. There were nine other little girls in the class, and they all practiced curtsies and plies and ran around the room together just like fairies. Then they skipped and twirled about until it was time to go home. Congratulations, Angelina, said Miss Lily. You are a good little dancer, and if you work hard, you may grow up to be a real ballerina one day. Here we can see Miss Lily's ballet school. All the little girls dancing and practicing. And here's our Angelina. And at the end of the day, Miss Lily is telling Angelina that if she practices hard, she could be a real ballerina someday. Angelina ran all the way home to give her mother a big hug. I'm the happiest little mouse in the world today, she said. Here we can see Angelina running to give her mother a hug. And here's Mr. Mouseling in the back. I guess he's taking a break from reading, huh? <laughs> from that day on, Angelina came downstairs when her mother called. She tidied her room and she went to school on time. Here we can see her mother is calling and here she is answering the lovely little picture. A lovely little picture in the background. And here we can see Angelina finally tidying up her room. Look how wonderful. It's going to be so clean and neat. Mm. She helped her mother make cheddar cheese pies and even let the boys catch her on the playground sometimes. Here she is helping her mother. 
And here she's letting the boy catch her during playtime. That was very nice of her, don't you think? Angelina was so busy dancing at Miss Lily's that she didn't need to dance at supper time or bedtime or on the way to school anymore. She went every day to her ballet lessons and worked very hard for many years. Here we can see her practicing in the ballet school. And here's Miss Lily. And we can see all the girls practicing in the background as well. Isn't that lovely? until at last she became the famous ballerina mademoiselle angelina and people came from far and wide to enjoy her lovely dancing here we can see all the people coming and all the people sitting in the theater to watch mademoiselle angelina dance that's it that's the story I hope you liked it, little one. And if you're going to bed now, good night. And if you're just going to continue doing what you do, I hope you have a really fun time. Bye-bye.